Welcome. For this first series of exercises, we shall cover basic controls and begin by seeing how to pedal. Good. Pressing harder allows you to ride faster. But beware, this also means consuming more energy. Now, you have to negotiate a series of bends by controlling the brakes. You must brake when the trajectory is red, because it means that you are riding too fast. Now, you have to negotiate a series of bends by controlling the brakes. You must brake when the trajectory is red, because it means that you are riding too fast. Very good. You are in control of your bike. Remember to manage your braking. It will avoid you having to pick up the pace too often and thus consume too much energy. To complete this series of exercises, we shall see how to attack or sprint. This allows you to drop your opponents, to break away or to sprint to victory in case of a bunched finish. Excellent. Remember that you can only attack if you have some red energy, and that you don't necessarily need to attack all out to drop your opponents. This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more about the Tour de France, you can consult the manual via the main menu. In this series of exercises, we shall cover one of cycling's essentials, energy. To begin, try to reach the top of this climb before the allotted time runs out. Watch out, you have very little energy.
In this series of exercises, we shall cover one of cycling's essentials, energy. To begin, try to reach the top of this climb before the allotted time runs out. Watch out, you have very little energy. You have just blown up. That's what happens when you have no more energy. With the little that you had, it was inevitable. Blowing up must be avoided at all costs during a race, because major effort is impossible and you will lose a lot of time. To reduce energy consumption, it is important to protect yourself from the wind. To see if you are well protected, you just look at the shield. If it is empty, it means that you are poorly protected. And, if possible, you must find a position that is sheltered from the wind. Good! You know how to protect yourself from the wind. For maximum protection, you need at least five riders between you and the oncoming wind. Don't forget that to win, you'll need to expose yourself to the wind when the time comes. You can't stay protected from We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. Great! On each stage, there is a feed zone that allows you to pick up two new feeds with which to finish the stage. You therefore have two feeds to be consumed before the feed zone, and two others to be consumed after the feed zone. Consume them at the right moment. For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents, because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed. For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents, because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed.
For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents, because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed. Perfect. The aerodynamic position is especially effective on slopes under 6% because it allows you to freewheel fast enough without losing time. This technique will be very useful to you on descents from mountain passes. This training exercise is over.